Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and topic of this video is Relationship between Shared Pointer and Weak Pointer uh, Both are C++ Smart Pointer and if you are not aware of them I will highly recommend you to go ahead and look into my C++ Smart Pointer video series to get to know what these are and how it can be used So let's start with Shared Pointer So I can create a Shared Pointer for my structure which I have created as I can use make shared and no arguments so the advantage of shared pointer is that we don't need to explicitly delete it as you can see that constructor and destructor both get calls because once the shared pointer get out of the scope it automatically deletes the memory allocated by it and shared pointer means the pointer can be shared so I can take the shared pointer in another another shared pointer like this and shared pointer is managed by reference count so if I just print the reference count I can use the use count method inside the shared pointer to print the reference count and if I print the reference count over here it will be 2 but if I change the shared pointer with weak pointer it doesn't increment the reference count so that's why it is called weak pointer because it doesn't take the ownership of it okay so that's the first difference between shared pointer and weak pointer now let me go ahead and, and just write a function in this particular test structure let me say fn and i'll just see out function called okay so with shared pointer I can just go ahead and call the function like this and if I go ahead and compile you can see that this function is called but I cannot do the same let me make it as wp I cannot do the same with w weak point I cannot just go ahead and call like this it's a compilation error because there is no overload arrow for weak pointer so how we can call the function with weak pointer we cannot call the function with the weak pointer what we can do is to get back the shared pointer which means I have to say shared pointer test sp1 equal to weak pointer dot lock what this lock does is that it gives me back the shared pointer now I can use the shared pointer to call the function again now you can see that my function is getting called twice not only that since I am locking it and getting a shared pointer the count the reference count is also incremented by one so it is now two so we can take a shared pointer in the weak pointer but before using that we need to get the shared pointer back so that we can use the pointer and if we want to release back the lock we'll have to just say reset so in this line I have released the lock back so there is no reference so if I go ahead and compile and run you can see that the reference count is actually changed to 1 now this is a very generic scenario but there are some situation where I mean let's say I have a weak pointer like this WP and I have a scope and let me create the shared pointer over there and I can do assign the weak pointer equal to shared pointer that's a valid code what will happen if I try to call this take the shared pointer again and call the function so basically if you see this should be an invalid code because this shared pointer get destructed as soon as it gets out of this scope so for example let me just uh, do a print see out outside the scope and if I go ahead and run it you can say that before outside the scope the structure gets called but this is a valid code how to prevent uh, uh, this kind of thing from happening to prevent this from happening weak pointer has provided a function called expired so we will say that if it is expired I'll say see out expired otherwise I can take the shared pointer reference and I can call the function over here 
And if I go ahead and run this particular code, you will see that it will print it is expired because um, the shared pointer is already lost. And if you just want to print the reference count of weak pointer, it will be zero. Uh, this is the internal implementation where weak pointer checks whether the shared pointer is valid or not. Okay, so that's the way we use shared pointer and a weak pointer assignment. But one very interesting thing about is that uh, while using thread, most of the time we don't want thread to take the ownership of shared pointer. That's why we pass weak pointer. So let's take the example of thread. So let me call a thread th. And inside uh, this particular scope only, I'll create a thread with Okay, so I am just creating the thread as a lambda function which takes a weak pointer of type test w in thread. Okay, and this is my implementation of the thread. In this, uh, let me just print I am inside thread. And let me sleep for a while. No, I'll let me sleep for two seconds. And in here, I'll just check if uh, w in thread dot expired, and I'll just pre print that uh, shared PTR is PTR is no longer available. Okay, and. What I'll do is over here is that I'll join the thread. Okay, so uh, see out out side is scope. So look what is happening. I am creating a shared pointer, and I am creating a thread. I am passing this particular shared pointer as a thread parameter over here. I am passing sp okay, as a thread parameter. Now inside this thread, I sleep for two seconds. So by the time the main thread execution will go out of this scope and this shared pointer will be deleted. So in this particular case, ideally uh, this uh, expired should be called. But let me just do one thing. Let me typecast it with weak PTR. I'll tell you the reason for this typecast, but let me write, try to run this code. Now you see that constructor, destructor get called, inside thread get called, and this say shared pointer is no longer available because it is lost. So that's the way you can pass the shared pointer as a weak pointer inside a thread and make sure that you lock it only when it is not expired. Now one very important thing, I must accept that I don't know the region behind it. I, I am not able to find any specification related to this in C++. But once I will find it, I will update the description. If we don't do a typecast over here, the behavior will be different. You say destructor is getting called later and we don't get shared pointer is no longer available because Somehow for thread function, if we don't typecast it, it converts weak pointer into shared pointer. I have no idea why this is happening and this happens only in the thread case. So I wanted to let you know about this because when you write the code and you get some error because of weak pointer, you should know this may only also be the region. Uh, so uh, let me just put this thread function outside. This happens only with the thread code. So let me this implement put this implementation over here. So now in this particular case, what I am doing, I am just calling thread function and from inline to I mean I've just changed the lambda function to an external function just to show you the difference. Now you can see that constructor destructor shared pointer is no longer available printed. But if I don't do a typecast, this doesn't work. 
but incidentally this is not a problem if i instead of doing this creating a thread i call, call the function directly so if i just call the function directly in the main thread and pass thread point in it the problem doesn't happen we can check it uh, by reference count You can say they see that the count is actually one, uh, but I have not typecasted it over here. Instead, I if I create a thread function, the counts become two, and that's very strange. I don't know the reason why this is happening, but as soon as I'll find the reason, I'll update the description or update in a different video. Okay, so that's uh, all about it. Just remember one thing: when you are creating a thread, you need to typecast, otherwise the count will be two. and you will not get the desired behavior so that's all about the relationship between shared pointer and weak pointer thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe thank you